The development of the United States' intercontinental ballistic missiles began in the late 1940s, shortly after World War II. The initial efforts were driven by the need to counter the Soviet Union's growing nuclear capabilities and the perceived threat of a Soviet ICBM attack on the United States. This section will outline the key milestones and technological advancements that led to the development of the U.S. ICBM arsenal. On the other side, the Soviet Union's successful testing of its first thermonuclear weapon in 1953 changed the U.S. approach to ICBM development. The U.S. realized that the Soviet Union could potentially develop an ICBM capable of delivering a thermonuclear warhead, which would significantly alter the strategic balance. In response, the U.S. Air Force re-evaluated the strategic importance of ICBMs and began to prioritize their development. So, the U.S. is starting to catch up to the top position. The U.S. Air Force established the Western Development Division in 1954 to oversee the development of an ICBM. Led by General Bernard A. Schriever, the division worked on the Atlas and Titan ICBM programs. The Atlas ICBM was the first land-based, nuclear-tipped, intercontinental ballistic missile deployed by the U.S., with its first successful flight occurring in November 1958. The Titan I ICBM was another U.S. multi-stage ICBM, with a successful launch in February 1959. Although both missiles were developed concurrently, the Titan I eventually overtook the Atlas due to improvements in engine technology and guidance systems. Then, the Minuteman ICBM program was initiated in the late 1950s and became the cornerstone of the U.S. ICBM arsenal. The Minuteman was a technological marvel, with its improvements on previous ICBM technologies. It was designed to be a highly reliable and maintainable system, with a focus on survivability and rapid deployment. The Minuteman ICBM entered service in the early 1960s and has since undergone several updates and modernizations. The development of the U.S. ICBM program was closely tied to international relations and arms control efforts. The U.S. recognized the need to maintain a strategic deterrent capability to counter the Soviet Union's growing nuclear arsenal. The U.S. also engaged in diplomatic efforts to limit the spread of nuclear weapons and to establish arms control agreements. The U.S. and the Soviet Union signed the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty in 1987, which eliminated an entire class of weapons and established procedures for on-site inspection and verification.